Welcome back to Obermott Stock Investing. I'm just returning from my box fight, which I have every Thursday at lunchtime with a couple of friends. And today I actually got hit. You can see it here. It's a little bit red. You know, somebody hit me in my face. As a matter of fact, I had worse injury injuries than that. I once got kicked in my uh, ribs uh, in kickboxing and I had a broken rib which took about two months to heal and it hurt terribly. I couldn't even sleep in my bed. I had to sleep on the floor because that was the only possibility to have less pain. Now I have, I know I get injured when I box. I know that you get injured in every sport you do. Does that mean you should not do any sports? It definitely doesn't. As a matter of fact, Nike gets away with saying, just do it, just do the sport you like, just go for it. Even though we all know if we do a sport, we are going to get hurt. As a matter of fact, your life is absolutely gonna have situations in the future where you're getting hurt. Does it mean you should end, end it? Definitely no. Nobody would ever recommend to end your life just because you know in the future you're gonna get hurt. And in stock investing, it is very similar. We know for sure that you're going to lose money when you invest in stock. We know that for sure because over 10, 20 years, there's always a period when the market goes down, sometimes 10%, sometimes even as much as 30%. So it means if you save for 30 years, you're going to have lots of years with losses. Should you then stay away from investing in stocks? I'm convinced not. Because for the simple reason, if you keep your money under your pillow or under on your bank account, your 100, for instance, will stay 100 in 30 years. But if you invest your money in the stock market, we know from experience that your returns are going to be anywhere between 5 and 8 or maybe even 10% over the long term, depending on where you invest and what phase in the economic cycle you're going to expect. 8% return means 100 invested today is going to be 1,000 30 years from now. Now, when you decide because you don't want to get hurt, you don't want to incur losses in your stock investments, not to invest, it means that at the end of the time of your saving periods, you're not going to have 1,000, you're just going to have 100, 90% less. I believe that's a very good reason why you should invest in stocks, even though it could happen that, you know, from one year to the other, or as a matter of fact, even in the last year, you have losses. But it's still a lot more return for you than if you stay away. Just like you should do sports, even though you know you're going to get injuries, you should also do stock investing, even though you know you're going to get losses. Get started. I wish you good luck.